In this Photoshop tutorial, you're going to learn how to instantly watermark not just one, but as many photos as you want in the click of a button in Photoshop. To begin, we're just going to want to set up our watermark. We're only going to need to do this once, and this is the most work that it'll take. So we'll go to File, New, and I'll create a new document of about 500 by 500 pixels. This step is sort of flexible. All we're going to do is create a pattern with it. So I'll press Create. If you already have a logo or something you want to use, you can drag that file in here. And uh, all we're going to do is hide the background layer so it's transparent. In this case, the background layer is locked. So I'll just go to Layer, New Layer. Just create an empty layer. And I can just press Delete on that background layer. And like I said, if you have your logo already, you could drag it in here, size it, center it. If you don't have your logo, for example, I'll just write my username. So at Justin Odisho. I'll grab my move tool. I can move it around. I can press command T to fit it into this small canvas we made, center it. And you know, our classic, everyone hates watermarks, sideways watermark. And I'm just going to size it up into place. So it fills up most of this 500 by 500 pixel canvas. Press OK. You could do whatever else sort of little quirky things you want. Um, I don't know if there's a standard code to watermarks or an official code but i'm just sort of winging layer new layer i'll add these little white pencil marks a little crisscross you can't really see them but if i make a black layer you could see this is what the watermark that i just made will look like so i just want to make sure i hide any background layer just so it's on a transparent layer and what i'll do with this document is go to edit define pattern. So this is going to be our watermark pattern. And we're not going to have to drag it in every single time from a PNG to our photos. We're just going to utilize some smart automation features in Photoshop. So first, let's go to Window Actions. And let's create a new action. So I'll press this plus icon. And I'll call this watermarking action or whatever you want. And once I press record, Photoshop is now listening to every step that we take. So let's be precise and go to layer, new fill layer, pattern. Now we're going to create a new pattern fill layer. Actually, I'm going to take this opportunity in this menu to set it to a opacity of something like 15%, 20%. It's up to you and press OK. And then on this pattern fill layer, we're going to want to just select that new custom pattern that we just defined. And in this case, this is what that looks like. You do have options to adjust the scale. Like I said, this is why I, I just made a 500 by 500 pixel original document to create our pattern. But you always have a little bit of wiggle room because of uh, steps like this. But I'll just leave it at 100. I'll press OK. You can also adjust the angle, I guess, here. But Again, we already took care of all that and I'll press OK and I'm just going to stop on my action recording. And this is a pretty simple action. All it does is make a new fill layer with that pattern that we defined. Now, if you're just working on maybe one photo at a time, there's nothing stopping you from going over to that photo, opening your actions window, finding that action that you made and pressing play on it and it'll automatically apply the action. In this case, this is a much larger pixel size photo than the previous one I made. So here's where I can always just go in, double click and adjust the scale to my liking if I'm working on a case by case. However, if we have a whole folder of let's say 100 photos or let's say we have a dozen photos open in Photoshop and we don't want to do even this much work, all we'll have to do is go to File, Automate, Batch. Here we can choose an action. So I'm going to choose my watermarking action that I made and I'm going to select a source. So you can choose all of the files that Photoshop has open currently or I can choose a folder. But then we just choose a destination so I can save them to a folder. So probably just make a new folder on your desktop or somewhere on your computer called watermarked photos and choose that folder. You can choose all sorts of things about how the document will get named. I have a stock photo pack that I 
have available for free on my website. If you go to justinodisha.com slash shop, I'm using all these photos from my stock photo pack. There's at least 50 of them there or something. And I'll choose that for the input folder. And then for my destination folder, I will just create a new folder called watermarked finals or something. Press create and choose this folder for where everything is going to get saved after the action of watermarking is applied. Now, if you do it this way, Photoshop is going to stop every single time and ask you to press save. It's not that complicated, but it's going to ask you what file format you want to use and to press save after it applies the action. And then it's going to go on to the next photo, but you can even save more time within your watermarking action. Let's press record again. It'll continue picking up where we left off. Go to file, save a copy, and you could choose any of these. And I'll press PNG in my case and press OK, save. Press OK and now you see there's actually a save feature in this action. So if I press stop recording once again, now when I go to file, automate, batch, do all the same stuff as before, and now we can check this little checkbox override save as commands. And because we have that step already in the action, that's what Photoshop will use. Otherwise it's saying it won't work, but I'll press okay now. And because we included the save as step in the action, now it's just going to go through and save every single photo in that folder without needing to ask me to press save. So I can go, grab some water, go grab a snack while I'm waiting and come back to my finished folder of all of my watermarked actions. But my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, you could subscribe to my channel and check out hundreds of more tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Consider leaving a comment, checking out my website shop or one of those new super thank features that Photoshop is using if you'd like to support the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.